The brain is divided into several lobes. These lobes are anatomical regions that are marked by specific boundary points and are associated with the certain processes that they influence or completely control. The parietal lobe is located above the occipital lobe of the brain and behind the frontal lobe. The lobe is named for the parietal bone that sits directly over the region as part of the skull. The parietal lobe is known as the interpret and sensory information, such as letting you know the location of parts of your body and aiding in physical navigation. For example, your parietal lobe automatically tells you where your tongue is as you chew to keep you from biting it. The parietal lobe functions in processing sensory information from the various parts of the body. It is heavily related to the sense of touch and involved with manipulation of objects, as well as in detecting the orientation and numbers of objects encountered. A significant portion of the parietal lobe is believed to function in vestibular processing, such as self-awareness of the location of one's body's parts. The parietal lobe contains an area known as the primary sensory area. This is where impulses from the skin such as warmth, cold, pain, and touch are interpreted. Just like the primary motor area in the frontal lobe, the more sensory input that comes from an area of the body, just like the fingers, the more surface area of the parietal lobe is involved in the processing of that information. The parietal lobe is also an essential element of spatial information which gives us the ability to judge size, distance, and shapes. A specific triangular-shaped area known as the parietal association cortex gives us the ability to understand written language and solve mathematical problems. The left hemisphere of the parietal lobe is often more active in right-handed people. The lobe is known for handling the symbolism of letters and numbers. The right hemisphere tends to be more active in left-handed people and helps with the interpretation of images and spatial distances within them, such as those that exist in maps. Regardless of handedness, people are not right-brained or left-brained. We use both sides of our parietal lobe. Damage or injury to the parietal lobe can cause a number of difficulties. Some of the difficulties as it relates to language include the inability to recall the correct names of everyday items, inability to write or spell impaired reading, and the inability to position lips or tongue properly in order to speak. Other problems that may result from damage to the parietal lobe include difficulty in pro performing goal-directed tasks, difficulty in drawing and performing math calculations, difficulty in identifying objects by touch or distinguishing between different types of senses, inability to distinguish left from right, lack of hand-eye coordination, difficulty in understanding direction, lack of body awareness, difficulty in making exact movements, inability to perform complex tasks in the proper order, difficulty in localizing touch and deficits in attention. Damage to the left parietal lobe can result in what is called Gertzman syndrome. It includes right-left confusion, difficulty with writing, and difficulty with mathematics. It can also produce disorder of language and inability to perceive objects normally. Damage to the right parietal lobe can result in neglecting part of the body or space, which can impair many self-care skills such as dressing and washing. Right-side damage can also cause difficulty in making things Denial and deficits and drawing ability.